In 2023, Vape V4 is the most popular Minecraft hack client of all time. However, behind the simply monumental client is an even better backstory. However, to truly understand the story, we need to go back to 2015, where an experienced coder named Manthe would decide to launch his first paid Minecraft client. However, this client wouldn't be like other clients on the market. This client was being sold as a self-destructible hidden Minecraft cheat, designed to allow players to get an advantage while remaining almost undetectable to the untrained eye. However, what truly made it remarkable at the time of its release, it was the first of its kind, and a big stepping stone to allow the same developer to create the vape client we know today. And the first piece of content we have available is on Manthe's YouTube channel, with a video called Spook Client by Manthe, Ghost Client 1.7.10, which is posted on October 21st, 2015, and at a service level, it really just looks like him showing out the new updates to his Minecraft client. However, little did Manthe know at the time, this client was going to be the building blocks in the beginning of the vape client we know today. However, it wouldn't be until Almost a year later, we'll see Spook Client turn into Vape Client, with the first piece of footage on the new Vape Client being posted on July 3rd, 2016, the Manthe's YouTube channel. However, this video was advertising Vape V2, which held a similar look to the Spook Client as it was actually in the Minecraft game. However, sometime between the rebrand from Spook Client to Vape Client and the release of Vape V2 onto Manthe's channel, there's a Vape V1 that was released which looks completely different. And sadly enough, there isn't a video posted by him covering it, and there really isn't one that happened back then. However, a few well-known vape YouTubers or just cheating YouTubers in general have been able to get their hands on a copy of this version. And surprisingly enough, Vape V1 looked completely different. And as you can see in that video, it's not actually in Minecraft, which makes it so much different. It was actually an injectable program, which wasn't actually in Minecraft, but it would send scripts and code into your Minecraft game. However, it could still give you things such as auto clicker, aim assist, and velocity and reach, similar to a modern day vape client today. And similar to Spook Client, he would be selling this program with similar pricing. However, it's completely unknown what the prices were back then. We're able to make an educated guess around $30 to $40 since that was the original Spook price. But back to Vape 2.0 or Vape V2, the true thing that made it different from a spook client is that instead of having to put it into your mods folder disguising it as a common mod, Vape V2 would actually be a program to inject it into your Minecraft client, which at the same time was an upgrade from the Vape V1 which is external. The Vape V2 version kept the injectable properties while allowing it to have a GUI in the Minecraft game just like spook client did. And taking a look into this video, we would see the modules a lot of people use today in the modern day vape client, along with the very memorable and very sleek theme of vape. And for a long time, Vape V2 was around, and throughout this time, it became really popular in the Minecraft community. However, many developers for anti-cheats and staff members on big servers were slowly learning how to detect the use of Vape Client. And as Vape V2 thrived throughout most of 2016 and 2017, inevitably it would be replaced by Vape V3 towards the end of 2017. But before we dive deep into that version, we need to talk about Vape Light. See, Manti at the time wasn't only focusing on Vape and Vape V2, he was actually focusing on another client called Vape Light. And really, there isn't a ton to this client, but there are some key differences which I'm going to cover. See, at the time, Vape was a one-time purchase of around $30, where the Vape Lite version would be offered around $10 a month. And the whole point of this client was to offer a more undetectable version of itself. And by undetectable, I mean undetectable and a screen share. And if you don't know what a screen share is, it's a common practice in competitive Minecraft scenes where a staff member will do a full in-depth search of your PC to find traces of any hacked clients. Time to get assessed, so they looking for the Vape. Looking for the vape, looking, looking for the vape. Bikes caught me in, so it's time to self destruct. Time to self destruct, time to, time to self destruct. And Vape Light would be a more compact version of the modern day vape, only offering true ghost features such as reach, auto clicking, velocity, and more. And Vape Light being similar to the original copy of Vape, it was in an external window as well. However, the true compactness of Vape Light would make it completely different versus the Vape V4, which was filled with a bunch of ghost features, along with a lot of blatant features such as B Hop and Fly, being injected into the Minecraft client, being able to control any hack or any module through the game. However, even though this design is really nice with Vape, it makes it more detectable when something's actually injected, which led to the initial creation of Vape Light being targeted to people who really didn't want to get caught. However, switching gears back to Vape V3, it had more updates, more features, and a better design, allowing more people to hack on servers and also boosting their sales. And throughout 2017 and 2019, people wouldn't think there would be a Vape V4 release. However, in May 2020, in the heart of the pandemic, we'd see the long-awaited release of the Vape V4 client. And little did Manthe know at the time, this release was about to break the Minecraft hacking scene forever. See, with the 
release of Vape V4 and become a client for every single purpose you could think of. Because never like before, a Vape client was a blatant client and a ghost client at the same time, expanding their client base of people buying the client, using it for multiple reasons, eventually pushing Vape to its peak. And Vape V4 is the version which it currently sits at today. Unlike any other version of Vape, it's been around for over three years while consistently being able to receive updates and growing their client base every single day. However, with the release of these updates and with the release of Vape in general, more people are being pulled to hacking in Minecraft. And due to the undetectable nature of the client, not many people get banned for it. As currently, it's completely tearing apart Watchdog, which is Hypixel's anti-cheat, along with most other competitive servers. So I'd like to use the end of this video a little bit to say, please don't go out and buy Vape, it's not a good idea. And especially don't use on Mymen Club, because fun fact, Manti actually owns Mymen Club, which is the reason why their anti-cheat is so good, because one of the most veteran hack client creators is the one behind one of the best anti-cheats ever made. So in conclusion, do not go out and buy Vape, but I hope you guys did enjoy this video, and if you want more mini documentaries centered around Minecraft content and all that good stuff, make sure to go check out another video on screen now. And at the time of this video, we're either at 4K or we're coming close to 4K or 5K. So make sure to go hit that subscribe button, like, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Kyle out!